Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time, thank you for watching. Today's video is brought to us by the United States Concealed Carry Association. The USCCA is a great organization. I've happened to know many of the people, taken a lot of training with them. They're good for new gun owners as well as seasoned vets like myself. And for members, they have a lot of education and training, which is phenomenal. You can become a firearms instructor, uh, but one of the key factors is when you become a member, you get self-defense liability insurance so that God forbid you become the protector that you're training to be. Uh, you know, if somebody forces your hand, then you'll have some coverage when it counts the most. Check them out down below. It's uscca.com slash gng. They're a fantastic group of people and I think that you should at least check out their uh, link. And if it's not for you, you can cancel at any time and get your money back as well. All right, this video kind of pains me to do because I'm taking a shot at a politician. I know people have been on this channel for a long time. You're like, no way, you taking a shot at a politician. But this is one is um, is gonna it's gonna ruffle some feathers of people, and it's Governor Ron DeSantis, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, the same Ron DeSantis who, in the wake of Hurricane Ian destroying Fort Myers Beach area, said, you know, don't. Don't you dare go and loot these homes because Florida is a Second Amendment state and you never know what could be waiting for you behind those locked doors. Well, now, pull up a chair, folks. It's a lot of information. I'm going to be looking at some notes because uh, Luis Valdez, who is the uh, state director of Florida for Gun Owners of America, I've been in contact him, with him all, all day since early this morning about this. There's some chicanery going on. There's some tomfoolery going on. And... Ron DeSantis at the, is at the center of this. So, in two days, Thursday evening, Ron DeSantis will be speaking at an event in Gainesville, Florida. It's being called, uh, let me look at this invite here. Uh, it is a, excuse me, the Ronald Reagan Black Tie and Blue Jeans Barbecue. Uh, it's 60 bucks per person to get in. Uh, and news flash, if you're attending and you don't know this, well, you should because you got the email already. Uh, be aware that all guests will be required to pass through a security checkpoint at entry, which will include scanning by metal detector. Now, there's a problem with this. Um, first off, Ron DeSantis has been pushing himself as a Second Amendment, a pro 2A candidate. However, as somebody who's been watching Florida very close because it is... 1A or 1B, it is one of the two states that I am looking at going to here with my family in a very short period of time, the other being Tennessee, East Tennessee. There are a few things as a Second Amendment advocate that mean a lot to me, and one of them is constitutional carry. And Florida has a lot of rhinos who are Republicans. They have a Republican majority, but they vote in gun control instead of voting out gun control which is a problem. Well, Ron DeSantis in going to this event is, will not speak unless it's a gun-free zone. In fact, uh, Florida Carey also put something out today uh, where one of their members was told that, if, hey, if you raise this stink, the governor might pull out. Well, does the governor support the Second Amendment or not? Now, there are going to people, be people who say, oh, you know, it's just natural when the governor speaks that it, you know, he would be a secure checkpoint. And I get it. I hear you. And I understand but I don't agree uh, because Ron DeSantis is saying Florida is a Second Amendment state. Except unless you want to hear me talk, you got to give up your Second Amendment. And there's some things here to, to take note that has to do with Florida law. You see, uh, Luis Valdez reached out. He did a FOIA request to the governor's campaign this morning where the governor's campaign responded and said, Hey, we, we, this isn't us who set this up. This isn't our, our call. Get a hold of the Florida Department of uh, law enforcement and he's waiting to hear back from them he actually reached out to their uh, chief general counsel and he's waiting to hear back from them what's the issue here well the issue here is that the florida department of law enforcement doesn't have the ability by law to make places a, a gun-free zone and, and lewis and, and folks watching if if i make a mistake on this please correct me because i want to be 100 percent accurate uh, and i'm going off of calls and stuff when I was driving uh, to Boston. So there's a lot going on. The catch is this location where this event is going to be held. I have it here. Bear with me. Uh, it's the Alachua. It's in Alachua County. Uh, but the event's being put on by the Alachua County 
Republican committee or a Republican executive committee. And the place where they're, where they're holding this, as I look through my notes and try to do this all at once, is a, uh, it's a public building used, uh, uses public dollar bills, which means it's not private, which if it was a private facility, then the, the facility itself could make it a gun-free zone. But because it's public, nobody has the ability by law to make this a gun-free zone, which is causing a, a little bit of a, a snarl for Governor DeSantis, saying he's pro-Second Amendment, but apparently refusing to speak at this event if people bring up the fact that he is advocating for violating the Second Amendment in order to hear him speak. Now, a lot of people, like I said, are going to be ruffled over this because he is seen as a strong presidential candidate, and I get it. Uh, he's also seen as one of the strongest governors in this country, and I agree uh, in a lot of areas. But if you're not pro 2A, you know, don't... There's an old saying back in the 80s, no half-stepping, right? If you are... With us, you're with us. If you're not with us, we don't need you to pretend in order to get your way or to get some some other offices. So I wanted to put this out there. Now, I'm also going to say to you that Luis Valdez of GOA will be on site at this, uh, this event. He's not giving up his Second Amendment right, so they will be protesting outside of the event should it not get canceled. I finally found the name of the place and all these notes I've been taking verbally. It's a Legacy Park Multi-Purpose Center. It's a public building owned by the city of Alachua, Florida, which is taxpayer funded and supported. Thus, it's not a private facility. The barbecue was organized, like I said earlier, by the Alachua County or Ala... If I screw it up, guys, like, don't... I... You said it wrong. I get it. All right. I don't live there. But Alachua County Republican Executive Committee, and it's their annual fundraiser. Now this I'm going to read to you from an email that was sent by Florida Carry. Uh, the warning uh, that people would have to go through the metal detector was uh, signed by Ann Stone, who is the treasurer of the Alachua County Republican Executive Committee. And Florida Carry reached out to her. They said, just a quick note, since the facility is city owned on city property, concealed carry cannot be banned during the event. That's the law. I hope everyone understands this. And that was in an email to, uh, to Ms. Stone. They get a response from Ms. Stone. She warned the regional lead of Florida Carey, who was reached out to her, that DeSantis might pull out if this issue was raised. Quote, it might be the law, but Ron DeSantis is not speaking unless there are no guns or other weapons. I think you would be mobbed if you caused him to leave without speaking sounds thinly veiled threat is what that sounds like now several people have reached out to the press secretary for ron desantis and as of me recording this this evening there has been no response as i am have been made aware of yet this is from florida carry here uh yesterday afternoon they reached out to stone by phone she confirmed that it was the alachua county uh, Republican uh, committee there that organized the event. However, she said the DeSantis campaign and the Florida Department of Law Enforcement gave them a list of very specific rules. Here's another quote from Stone. She said, "All I know is that he will not appear if there are any gun if there are any guns. It's more his campaign. They're not organizing the event, but they gave us the rules of having him on board, and that's the rules they gave us." When pressed about these rules, if they were written, uh, they were told they were given vocally. She also said, Ms. Stone, that she possessed a valid Florida concealed weapon and firearm license, but she was more than willing to be disarmed to hear him speak. And here's her quote. I am a pro-gun person, but what I see is that Ron DeSantis is an up-and-comer. He's important, and he needs to be protected. So I have no problem going without my gun. Again, this is from the Florida Carry email. Stone claimed she does not see concealed carry licensees as a threat, but added that people bought tickets to begin with, and who knows who they could be. We didn't make the rules, but we have to live with them. Hmm. Really? So some things I've heard from multiple people that I've talked to today. Uh, concealed carry is legal in the governor's office, but not at this location where he's going to go speak. Even though it's a fundraiser on public property. He's he's going to ban the Second Amendment there. 
Also, if the Florida Department of Law Enforcement issued a no-gun directive, a gun ban, then uh, they violated Florida's preemptive uh, statute. The preemption statute means you cannot, no local place or no state entity can pass a gun control law more stringent than what the state laws on the books already are. Now, for those who aren't aware, uh, current governor Ron DeSantis is running against former governor uh, Char Charlie, yeah, Charlie Crist. And Charlie Crist is very anti-gun. He's a, like, it's Joe Biden in Charlie Crist clothes, basically. And DeSantis has been running on the 2A a lot lately. Uh, we've covered Florida and their issues uh, towards the end of their, uh, their legislative season and some special sessions in which we were told constitutional carry could pass if the governor called for it, but the governor never really called for it, which I would say questions his uh, pro-2A-ness if I can make up a word. So I will have more on this as it unfolds. I was gonna wait until like Thursday, but this is getting hot and heavy as the day goes by. Who is lying here? Is it the Republican committee in Alachua County? Is it the Department of Law Enforcement in Florida? Is it the governor himself? Is it the governor's campaign, which is independent of the governor's office? Or is the governor's office? Like, who who the hell's lying here? Because somebody is, and it's starting to stink. Let me know what you all think down below. If you live in Florida, you might have more information than what GOA or Florida Carry has thus far. Uh, the last time I spoke with Luis Valdez was about a half hour ago. So this is about as current as it's getting right now. If you have more information, let us know down below. What do you think as a Florida resident or, or as an American resident, American citizen who might have the opportunity to vote for a Ron DeSantis for president. Hmm. Big aspirations. But if you don't support the one thing that secures it all, are you real? Are you? Let me know what you think down below. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. You should never fear the law-abiding who can utilize their rights whenever they see fit. You should never fear the law-abiding. And that's how I'm going to leave that one. Take care.